self made. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Look, I'm working on a song. I wrote the song. I'll be, be writing a little. Yeah, look. I'm, how many songs you got, though? Like, okay. I don't need a songwriter. I don't need a song. I could write, write, left, right. I'm right handed. I could write. Yeah. And um, let me see what else. I, 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 I recorded the song. Yep. No doubt. No doubt. I, what's the catalog looking like? Is, is the catalog hitting? Look, I produced the song. Look, look, I ain't finna use an NPC. I, I'm on original beats. I went down, chopped down the tree, and built the drum. Self-made. That's me. <laughs> How many songs do you have? What'd you say? I, I mixed the song. I mastered the song. I, I can't hear that good in my ear, but I... Do you have any songs? Okay, what uh, we pitching? Okay. Are you gonna superstar this? I took year. a couple classes. Anyway. I recorded the song. Word, word, word. I had the. I didn't have. So we gonna go ahead and get into the show. I went a, because he tripping, tripping. And now, uh, Mr. Do It thing. All, Mrs. Yeah, Don't need yeah. nobody help. You tripping? Okay. How many? Look. Could we talk about the power of leverage? Because I need to know how many songs do you have? And you can't, look, we trying to superstar this year. We want to superstar this year, not next 30 years. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Hey, hey, Bubble on Deck. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Yeah. Look, could we get this episode up and out today? Could we get music completed today? I'm your host, a.k.a. your favorite sing superstar. Yeah, the I Hear Money coach, all that. I'm all of that. Anyway, I just want to do this episode. I just want to tell you, before we get into it, look, could we talk about the sponsor? The sponsor for today's episode is the Sync Superstar Academy. The sponsor product. Yeah, it's a free download. Go ahead and get it now while it's still free. Okay, getmusiconTV.com. I'm going to put the link in the show notes. Look, don't worry, you ain't got to remember how to spell TV. The link going to be in the show notes. Anyway, the product is sponsored by the Sync Superstar Academy. And we're going to get into later why you need this. Anyway, um, could we talk about the reason we created this podcast? Yeah, there's four goals in mind with this one. Um, I want to see y'all superstar. But so, look, we created the podcast to do this. One, we're going to save you money in your sink business. If there's tax deductions, if there's savings, if there's just things to like, hold on to your money. I'm going to tell you, look, open your pocket, put your money back in it. You can save money. Look, whether it's taxes or whether it's just stuff that you buying that you don't need to buy. Things you investing in as an artist that you don't need to be wasting. <laughs> look, I didn't say you was investing. I said you was wasting your money. If you wasting your money, I'm going to let you know. Put your money back in your pocket. Anyway, goal number two of this podcast is to make you more money and music licensing. And this episode, we're going to talk about more money. We're going to talk about you doing less work and making more money. Could we could we work smart and not hard? Not too hard anyway. Anyway, look, 2023, we're trying to superstar this year. Anyway, um, goal number three is to transform your mindset. This is part mindset, part make more money episode because look, you out here thinking you got to do everything. I done told you indie artists got enough work as it is. Okay, with all the technology, with all the shortcuts out here, there's still more leverage you can do. So you ain't got to do everything or at least die trying anyway. Um, And look, when you're doing one, two, and three, I'm trying to tell you, you're going to hit goal number four. Like, <gasps> It's just going to, it's going to awaken in you. I'm trying to tell you now the superstar's already in you, but it's going to activate when you saving money, when you making more money and when your mind is right. I'm trying to tell you now you're going to be out here superstarring. Yeah. You know what superstarring is? For those of you who don't know, look at this, your first episode, get familiar. You got a lot of work to do. Go back, go back and start at episode one so you can get all the game. But anyway. When you superstarring out here, when you sink superstarring out here, when you doing it in one year, you got at least six figures coming in. We talking six, seven figures in music licensing for the indie unsigned artists. Okay, now, look, we got challenges and all types of things, but those are the goals. Look, can we talk about 
could we talk about what time it is? Cause I know you think I forgot the time. I know you think, oh, she ain't wearing a watch. She don't know what time it is. She don't know it's subscribe time. And yes, I do. I need you to know, I don't forget to tell you come through with that five star review. Come through with that like, share, comment on this podcast, share this episode to somebody. Could you share it with just one body, not somebody? Go ahead and share this episode with one body or somebody. They'll be out here doing too much. They'll be out here just doing the most. Could you share with a, look, share with an artist that don't know when to quit? Share it with an artist that don't know nothing about leverage. Share with a producer sitting up in his back cave. Okay, they be sitting up in their cave. And they just be out here doing stuff on their own and taking forever to get it done. Could we get it done this year? Could we hear that record this year? Like, could you take it up off your laptop and put it in our ears? Could you get it on our TV screen? Could you be out here superstarring instead of keep on just taking forever with this music y'all taking too long you getting on my nerves so that's why i did this episode yeah now before we get into it before i get on you okay because i'm stepping on next this episode n-e-c-k-s we stepping on next this episode anyway um i got a disclaim before we get to stepping on your neck Okay, because you're taking too long, you're getting on my nerves, but I need to tell you that the advice that I give, that the suggestions that I give, and most of all, most importantly, the solutions, yeah, them solutions that I be dropping every episode, these gems and whatnot, we be talking contracts, we be talking legal, we be talking tax, we be talking things, all things suable, and I need to let you know you ain't going to sue me about this advice, it's just free sync game, look, I know what I'm talking about, I need you to know, (laughs) you should take my advice. But just know that it's my personal opinion, okay, on this episode, on the next episode, and on the last episode. Anyway, let's get into the show. Bubble on deck. When you talk money, I hear you. I hear money. What is that now? Hey. You ain't got money, then you start selling money, and I just can't hit all my. I keep it moving like a tax collector, let the credit check, go let the whole world pay full price. You, you ain't got money, then you start selling money, and I just can't share that price. Okay, now, look, we finna talk leverage. This episode ain't gonna take me long to tell you what you got to do. Uh, did I tell you that I... Okay. Uh, Home Depot don't never be on sale. When I was working on the studio, I had to make my brick. <laughs> okay. How many songs do you have? Ah, uh, let me think. Yeah, yeah. I, I broke my finger working on that one. It was, it was crazy. And if you would was... stop interrupting, ew. Anyway, look, can we talk about leverage? I want to just, I was going to read the definition because it's actually a financial term, an investment term. And it's really just no. about, look, I might Self do a little whole made. series. That's I'm I thinking, know. look, I'm winging it. I tell you, I bring it and I wing it. But I'm thinking as I'm thinking on this podcast, this is a smart podcast. It know to keep on spinning while I'm talking and thinking. Anyway, I'm thinking that I might do a whole little series on leverage because this episode, I just want you to leverage talent. Could we leverage talent? Okay. I might, I don't even know that I'm going to bring up the the definition of this word leverage, but I just want you to know it's going to help you to complete these songs quicker. You sitting out here with 0.2 0.2 songs you've been doing music for three years and you got 0.7 songs notice the o stands for zero okay you ain't got no music you ain't got no songs ready we can't pitch air <laughs> look we can't pitch thin air you can't hit superstardom with no catalog you ain't got no songs to pitch ew now the reason you ain't got no yeah that yeah it take a while uh, to you know like build a studio with your bare hands i ain't use no hammer oh no he didn't no he did not nah, anyway nah, the I, reason self-made. you ain't got no songs <laughs> is because you're trying to do the most you're trying to do it all and i'm trying to tell you it don't it, it don't take all that <laughs> look you can be self-made and not make everything handmade. I we didn't say we handmade artists. Okay. Look, you not you wasn't born in 1890s. You wasn't born in 1700s. Some of this stuff is advanced. There's some technology out here. There's some shortcuts you can take and still make original music. We just said no samples. We didn't say you had to build the drum. Okay. Okay, I don't even know why you out here with the tree and chopping down the wood. Yeah, anyway, I ain't even to even die tell behind you no how beat. I created <laughs> Look, the nails. Could you could we get to the solution? Could, uh, you are the problem. I normally would break down what the problem is and look how we can fix it. I'm just here to tell you that if you're doing every single thing yourself, okay, you're the problem. 
yeah, you doing too much. Okay. And it's taking forever. Look, you should have had some, look, could we make, could we make more than one song this year? Yeah. Could we get more than one EP out this year? I'm just saying, like, I'm not telling you to rush and make trash. I'm telling you to leverage talent. Okay. Now, um, the ways you want to leverage talent, look, you ain't got to build the studio with your hands. Could we get into the solutions? Because you could have easily just rent a little studio time. Ain't nobody said you had to have a home studio already built by bare hands before you could ever record. Could you go in somebody else's studio so you can hear what mics are good? Okay, yeah. Look, while you traveling and stuff, you could be recording. I was out here superstarring, working a full-time job, traveling 100% of the time. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't got to wait till you got a home studio to make your songs. Could you get a placement or two first, take that money and reinvest and then get your studio going? Ew. Like you watching what these people doing in their vlogs and their blogs and you thinking, oh, this is the only way I need you to know you could do this stuff. You could get some help. Could you, could you do a little work for hire? Could you hire a couple of people like somebody to build your studio and go rent and do, and look, rent some studio time somewhere else? Could you get an engineer? You don't got to hit the button, then run in the booth and record and then hit the button. And then look, look, could you get an engineer? I'm just saying, could you leverage talent? Like earlier, okay. <clears throat> he was out here writing them the songs himself. He said he know how to read and write. I'm just saying. Could you get a songwriter? Could you get a co-writer? <laughs> yeah. Look, when you collab, I'm trying to tell you, you could get way more songs in your catalog. You don't got to make everything from scratch. Could you scratch your head and think of who you could work with? Made that from scratch. Go ahead and come up. Look, another brain got some more ideas you didn't think of. Why are you thinking you're going to think of everything yourself? Why are you trying to do every single little thing yourself? Some of this stuff... You could outsource. You could collab. Look, this episode, I just want you to leverage talent. Find, look, look around the room and, and stop just seeing yourself. Look around the room and stop looking in the mirror. Could you do that? Yeah. Look, could you could you call up a friend or two? You know somebody that could rap? You don't got to go figure out how to rap so that you can have a rap feature. Could you? Could you collab? Yeah. Could you hit some people up? <laughs> yeah. And just look, could you work with them? Let me tell you what you do when you work with them. Because I know, I, I know the, this is a problem. Some of y'all are afraid, like, if I don't make 100% of the song, it's not going to be one stop. Did you know that you could get a split sheet? Get a one stop split sheet agreement? Look, the sponsor product for today is a free split sheet agreement it's free right now <laughs> yeah get your mu get music on tv.com get your music on tv right now not next year okay you don't got to build a song from scratch go look, you could do two percent of the record yeah do two percent of the record and get a hundred percent control so you can pitch this stuff but could you get a song completed this year i'm talking look we're trying to superstar this year we're not trying to superstar 30 years from now okay anyway um, I don't want you to get lost in this sauce of, don't get lost in the self-made sauce. That's all I'm saying. If you can share some of this work, could you collaborate a producer so you don't have to learn how all of these plugins and NPCs and things work? Could you do that? Okay. Cause I just need for you to make a couple of songs. You, Lil, you could superstar off one song, but could you get a song done this year? <laughs> okay. Bubble on tap. Let give you about that top to me. Uh, I'm still working on the first song. Well, I'm almost done. Yeah, the studio finished and everything. Like, yeah, yeah. Eventually, I'm going to look. Eventually, I'm going to be ready to go ahead and get my songs on TV. And I said if you broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. I only hear money, babe. You talk money, I hear you. I hear it. I hear money.